new option for feature cam is the ability to index about the z-axis when performing 2.5D milling operations. So in the example uh, we have here we're going to be machining this large component on a machine that is uh, three axis but has a rotary table attached to the top of the main table. Now what this means is it allows users to mill parts that even though they exceed the travel of the machine in one particular direction, they can be machined in stages uh, using the rotation of the table around that z-axis. Now in this example, uh, I've loaded in the part file already, I'm just going to open the folder just to highlight that we have a machine file, an MD file, and an associated CNC or posting file. So here you can see we have the rotary table file, and we have the CNC file as well. Now the CNC file by default should load in uh, the rotary table example. So here we have this large uh, disk part that we want to machine. If I go into the part view, you'll notice we've already got some pre-created features here. So we have side operation on the inside there, we have this cross shape, and we also have a pattern of holes. So if I was to go into straight away and do a 3D simulation with the machine, I'm just going to do a single step just to start it off. So here we have this Haas machine with a rotary table mounted onto the top of the bed. I'm going to play this, and what you'll notice is this is the standard three-axis machining. As I rotate round there, you'll notice that the extent of this three-axis machining is going a long way across the back of the machine there, so we could be actually over-traveling the machine already just purely because of the size of the component. Likewise, when we get to the holes, you can see machining around, this could cause further issues by extending beyond the limits of the machine itself. So we can get around this by utilizing this new option for rotation around or indexing around our z-axis. So this is done from the stock axis. So we go into the stock, we select indexing, and we simply choose fourth axis positioning, but indicate that we're going to do indexing around the z axis. So simply apply that option. And what you'll notice now, if you go to any of these operations, you'll see we have an option here that indicates do we want to cut with the y axis coordinates. So I can turn that on, and I can apply a rotation, or I can turn it off. Say so OK, and now we're using our C-axis rotation. So again, machine simulation, single step. So again, playing this. So what you notice now is I'm now using the rotation of the table to machine my part as opposed to using the XYZ rotation, sorry, XYZ movements of the machine. So we're now cutting with the rotational move. So what you notice if I rotate the machine around, you can see it's very little movement in terms of the y-axis movement of the machine, which is simply moving it x and C to machine the part. That's roughed out the part, moving into the semi-finishing operation. And then finishing that first side. Now 
Let me see X is milling. The internal slot. And now using the C axis motion to drill the holes. So another option that is available to us is the ability to machine things such as this slot here. So I've created a new slot. If I hide that side operation, just turn on this slot and again I'm going to turn off the pattern drilling operation. So we have a, a slot in there that we want to machine. If I go into the details about this, so this is actually using the y-axis coordinates, but I've placed a rotation of 90 degrees. So at the moment it wants to cut along the y-axis, but the rotation of 90 degrees will mean it will try and cut along the x-axis. So again, machine simulation, single step again. So as we get to the slot, I'm just going to sit a single step through. You now notice that even though the slot was placed in the y-axis, we're simply rotated by 90 degrees to actually machine along the x-axis of the machine. 